This lecture is focused on operation of an autoclavable fermentation system called the Biostat A. Although the content is specific for the Biostat, which is used in the UGA Bioprocess Science Training Lab, some content is broadly applicable. The Biostat A is a small-scale autoclavable benchtop fermentation and cell culture system. A two-cast system is used for microbial fermentation and a four-gas system for cell culture. There are a variety of vessels from 1 to 5 liter typically used. This system also has four peristaltic pumps for acid, base, antifoam, and substrate feed. A single-use system is available. These are easier to use since the system does not have to be autoclaved and are typically used for cell culture operations and not microbial fermentation. To set up, gases are installed in the back of the system and devices called mass flow controllers alter the gas coming out of the side depending on the demands of the culture. Shown here is a typical setup with acid, base, and feed or antifoam bottles. The system utilizes a heat blanket and cooling finger inside the vessel to regulate temperature. The exhaust is cooled in a condenser so liquid does not evaporate and a stirrer drives the agitation inside the vessel. The software can be used to monitor and control level, pH, oxygen, and temperature. pH can be controlled by pumping acid or base into the system depending on the pH set point and antifoam can be added if the level probe detects foam. Introduction of air, oxygen, and increased stirring is used to maintain a dissolved oxygen set point. As mentioned, pH can be set to a desired level, then controlled automatically. The pH sensors are calibrated before the run, then a single one-point calibration is done after autoclaving. The slope between two pH buffers is calculated, and the calibrated probes then used to monitor pH. The sensors send an electrical signal measured in millivolts representing the current state of the electrode. The pH is calculated based on the actual millivolts, then converted into a pH value. DO probes are calibrated at the 0% level using an inert gas such as nitrogen or argon, as well as a 100% point which is arbitrarily set by adjusting the fermenter to run at the max airflow and agitation of the system. The system then responds via an output function, which is calculated using a proportional, integrated, and derivative function. The output can be set up by the user to determine what response the system makes based on an output percentage. Basically, the controller calculates percent output based on the difference between the process set point and process value, then calculates a percentage output off of this. There are many different forms of the PID equation but the one used by this software is dependent on the ideal PID formula shown here, where Kc is a proportional gain coefficient. A high value induces unstable oscillations, while a low value results in maintaining a stable value which never reaches the set point. Ti is the integration time window. Integration allows even a small deviation from set point to add up to significant controller response over time essentially driving a tr controller to set point. TD is a derivative time window. This causes the controller to respond very aggressively if DO is dropping fast and to slow down the response rate as the value approaches set point to avoid excessive overshoot. To set up the vessel, first the system is put together and media added. Ports are wrapped in surgical paper and lines that don't go into the liquid are left open while lines that are submerged in the media are clamped to prevent liquid escaping during autoclaving. After autoclaving, the system is set up and allowed to come to temperature. A one-point pH calibration and two-point DO calibrations are performed. The culture is then inoculated and cultivation is monitored until harvest time. Cells are harvested using centrifuge bottles and material kept for downstream processing. Keep in mind, that there are a variety of different centrifuges and bottle types. In future lectures, we will review downstream processing, which includes centrifugation, cell lysis, filtration, and chromatography.